Hello, I'm Luke from Clout Media, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of lighting tips to make sure your videos look nice and pretty. Right, lighting is really, really important. Next to lighting is sound, and I'm going to do a video about that in a few moments' time, and you can follow, click here, and I'll show you a video about that. Um, the idea of lighting in video is so important because it's got to be constant, it's got to be continuous, and it has to be right throughout the video that you're doing which is why it's sometimes tricky to film outside um, because of course if it's a cloudy day or it's overcast a bit then the sun will move in and move out or the sun stays still the clouds will move in and out and that can cause a real problem particularly when it comes to post-production sometimes you can get away with it if it's a behind if it's a, an interview for example uh, with a local mayor or something then that's absolutely fine but if it's in a studio environment it's really important to get your lighting right so here we go i'm going to share with you a couple of ideas some budget options and some not so budget options as to how you can get started in your videos or with a good set of lighting. Option number one for your smartphone users as to how to get nice consistent lighting and natural lighting is very simply like this. So uh, you've got your smartphone, you're gonna have it on a tripod, absolutely use a tripod please, don't shake your video if you can avoid it. So you're gonna have your tripod and I'm gonna illustrate with behind me here. So you're gonna have your tripod, your camera set on the tripod and then you're gonna have your window and you're gonna have the sun outside. And the idea of that is that the sun comes in, it's nice natural light, your skin looks really very well lit in it, and of course because you're looking straight down the camera, everything's just constant and beautiful and gorgeous, okay? And it's free! The sunlight is the best light in this, uh, thing ever, and it can be so good for many different reasons. If you want to go up budget a little bit more, then you're looking at Amazon and your eBay, and there's loads and loads of options out there for lighting. So you can go for what I call glamour lights, and they're those halo lights you've seen there, um, which are really lovely things, because they give you nice, uh, nice even, soft coverage. Very good for vloggers and bloggers, um, because normally you're very close to the lens. The only caveat I have with those is that if you're too close to the lens, then you're gonna, you see the halo, especially if they're wearing glasses. You get that sort of dotted around the pupils of the eyes, which, I think, okay, fine, but I just wonder if there's a way you can avoid that. So you can either get them where there's the bare bulb, or you get them where a little bit, so they've got a bit of a soft box or a bit of a, um, a layer, uh, a plasticking layer across it, and it just softens it, so it's not quite so stark. So these gamma lights, they go on the back of a smartphone, I've seen them on smartphones, um, and they go for a couple of quid, you know, a couple of dollars, and you wait for it to come through from China or whatever else. And they'll serve the purpose probably very well for what you're trying to achieve, depending on what you're looking to do. On that note, I saw a little while ago, and if I can find it, I'll put it into this video, it was a selfie stick which had two lights attached to it and at the top of it was a fan. So the idea of this was that you could do, holding your stick out there, you've got your lighting coming in and you've got this fan giving you the whole windswept hair look. It was amazing to watch how this thing worked. Very clever, great little bit of, uh, bit of kit. Would it be effective in what you do? I don't know, but what are you doing? So that's the one option you could do. The other option you could do, going a little bit higher up in the budget still, looking around about £100 sort of mark here, is getting yourself a lighting setup. Now you can get a twin set, you can get a four set, you can get a hair light, um, depending on how your budget is. And particularly if you're going to be doing a lot of green screen stuff, or if you film, for example, um, late in the evening where you haven't got the beautiful natural sunlight to work with. And normally a two set light, light, light set will do. I mean, I've got, I'm running a two set here today, and that's working absolutely fine. Some people like to have four, some people like to have a hair light, but it depends on your situation, it depends on the kind of videos you're trying to get across. So a nice set like that, you go upscale to about 100, maybe 150 quid, depending on how many bulbs and how many lights and the soft boxes and all that kind of stuff. So there's some examples there for you to think about when you're looking towards your light setting up. So your free option is using the sun, brilliant. Your second option is using some smaller light systems from eBay and Amazon, for example. And then your third option is going up a little bit of scale into a bigger lighting situation setup. So I hope that's been of interest to you. I'm Luke from Cloud Media, and I look forward to speak to you again soon. Bye for now.